Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Wealth Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 25th to the 31st of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Taurus please? Thank you. Card has flown out. So I have the Nine of Swords. Okay, message for Taurus, please, Angel Spirits Guides. For the week. Okay, so we have awareness. And angels, what is the message for our lovely Taurians? Thank you. Message for Taurus. Thank you. Okay, so I have the card of courage. Archangel Ariel, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Okay, Taurus, so I'm going to pull three cards this week. First card is the issue or challenge that you face for the week. Second card is the advice from spirit. And the third card is the outcome. Should you take the advice, then we clarify the cards and go deep into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Taurus. 25th to the 31st of January 2021. Message for Taurus, thank you. Can't want to come out? Okay. Six of Swords. Oh, there you are, Taurus, the advice from Spirit. It's your card, the Hierophant. And we have the Four of Pentacles. So a message for Taurus, please. Can we clarify the cards on the table, please? Angel Spirits Guides. 25th to the 31st of January, 2021. What is the message that Taurus needs to hear? Thank you. Two of Pentacles. The Hierophant, we have the Nine of Pentacles here, Taurus. And the Four of Pentacles is clarified with the King of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. Very nice indeed. So, sorry, did I say Three of Pentacles? <laughs> it's interesting that I said that. I mean, the Three of Pentacles is the beginnings of success. You know, it's very good in terms of money, career, finances. And I'm kind of leaning towards that. So I say these things for a reason in Tarot, but we have the Three of Cups there. So the Nine of Swords is a card of sleepless nights. It can be the card of the insomniac. It is where the mind is just focusing on the negative and it distorts the reality that you're in. So even though there's a reason, it's based on fact, the Nine of Swords, there's a reason for you to be in your own, in your own head, to be stressing, worrying, anxious, you know, to do with something here. It is a card of master your mind. You need to get perspective. You know, it's that kind of energy. Um, so, yeah, that is the energy here that we have. And it might well be that's what's to do with this awareness here. Get perspective. You know, reconnect to who you are. You know, it feels that kind of energy. I mean, awareness can be you might have been made aware about something or you might be discovering. I mean, this can be a card of self-discovery, discovering what you're, you're, you're made of. It's that kind of energy. And it might well be in this energy, you know, you're just being told. Be aware of how the mind plays tricks. It might well be that's what you need to hear because the mind... When it focuses on the negative, it spirals out of control. The swords is our thought patterns, our mental perspective, and how they can really affect our lives if we're not careful. So definitely need to be courage, stand your ground, you know, stay strong. You know, courage is about staying strong. Okay. 
because for some of you, I mean, the two of pentacles, it can actually be juggling money. I'm feeling in this situation it's to do with money, material security here. Um, something that has overwhelmed you. This can be about juggling finances because you've been challenged. Something's thrown you off balance in your life and it feels overwhelming. And yet the two of coins is saying, you know, this person juggles and dances. This is well within your capability, Taurus, when you ground yourself when you use your practical talents, experience, knowledge, it is within your capability to deal with this. And there is a message here, even in the challenge position, you will detach from troubles and move towards calmer waters. The troubles will soon be behind you. That which has been challenging, it feels to do with money, finances, career here, Taurus, it will soon be behind you. This is a card of transition, change, positive change. Um, positive changes afoot. You're not quite at the end game yet in the challenge position, but it feels for some of you by your effort, focus, prioritization, organization, and adapting, adapting to the environment that you're within right now, you will put a difficult challenge behind you. So it feels very beautiful. The Hierophant is you, Taurus. You know, this is a card of have faith. Remember, the Hierophant is the holy person. Um, who is a representation of God, the universe, the divine on earth. So you're absolutely being told to have faith. Sometimes the Hierophant appears when we're kind of questioning, what's it all about? Why has this happened to me? You know, it's that kind of energy. And this is about having spiritual faith because you are being watched over. So it's a lovely, lovely energy. Um, and... With the Nine of Pentacles, it's towards, where are you heading towards? Where is this ship sailing towards? Well, the ship is sailing towards greater success. You're not quite there yet, but it feels that you will find the right direction. You are going in the right direction towards great success, happiness. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of luxury and material success. Very, very good in terms of money, career, business in particular. It can be an entrepreneurial energy as well. If you're starting at your own business, it's a card of you are on the right track. You are going to be successful here. Um, it's also a card of, of, you know, in whatever context, whether it's to do with jobs, whether it's to do with getting more money or earning more money, it's definitely a card of, yeah, the success is ahead. Absolutely, success, material success is ahead. Um, it's a card of luxury and feeling pretty good about it. Financial stability, security, independence. So very, very beautiful energy indeed. Now with this King of Wands, there could be somebody who is of influence in your life in bringing this success around because we have the Four of Pentacles here, uh, which can be a card of financial security. I mean, it can be a card of finding security. And I'm saying that because we have the instability, things throwing you off balance here, if it feels in terms of finances. And the four in tarot is about foundation, stability, security, again, once more. So I definitely feel that even though something has thrown you off balance, you've been grappling with it, I may be thinking that you weren't going to see the end of this situation here. You are. You are, you are on track for success. It could be there's a person influential in your life, bringing in the stability and security in your life again once more. Um, king of Coins, sorry, king, it's interesting I'm saying the King of Coins because that's you. King of Wands is a card of somebody on, on their throne, somebody who represents success somebody who understands how to take action, take the lead in their life by being in their power. Again, it can be a courageous energy as well. He's not a defeatist king. He keeps going until he brings success. So that can be the energy of the King of Wands. Could also be somebody offering you opportunity as well, or somebody who is influential in bringing about a new level of stability and security, financial stability and security in your life. Because the three of cups is a card of reasons to celebrate. The winter is over, the spring is here, Taurus. So I definitely feel for some of you, um, 
you are absolutely heading in the right direction. You are on track for material security and stability in your life. This is real success. This is real success. Um, lacking for nothing, you know, fulfilling your potential. Know your potential. That's what you're told as well in this reading. Know your potential with these cards. Know what you're capable of. And I think that is what this awareness card, you know, when you let the external world get inside your own head, we forget to focus on ourselves and what we're capable of and reconnect to our courage, our strength, our power. And it's almost kind of like that needs to be the change here, how you take control of something, stand in your own core belief, your core strength, power to bring change to a situation as well. Don't let something get on top of you this week. Okay, because for some of you, there is definite success here. Okay, so I'm going to bring, I'm going to pull a final card, final message for Taurus, please. Final message for Taurus. So three cards, we have Hedgehog, Acceptance, Embrace Who You Are. Oh my goodness. Embrace who you are. What we were saying. We have Wolf Heart Medicine, let go of that which does not serve your highest good. Yes. This, you know, is understandable, it's based on fact, but it doesn't do you any good. Yeah. And we have Honeybee, Divine Feminine, you are being called on to rise. I mean, those are beautiful messages, Taurus, very much in fitting with the reading. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.